Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today, the topic is rest. Rest, 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 rest. Hmm. We may have spoken of this topic on a previous Sunday Morning Coffee, but today it seems really poignant to share. Rest is something that sometimes we mix in or confuse with the energy of laziness. Now, laziness is a term the brain uses to shame ourselves so that we feel bad when we rest or when we think about or want rest. So let's talk about the spiritual component to rest and what rest means to your spirit, because we know what it means to your mind. Let's be honest. When someone rests too much or when they take too many naps or when they're slow moving or when they don't meet the fast or rapid pace or expectations of today's today today's society or workplace or productivity or accomplishment or achievement or overworking or all that stuff that we've come to value as a humanity. Well, let's just say not everybody values that, but there's kind of this overarching overlay that says if you rest, you're lazy. And that's a brain thing. That's a mind a belief system. So let's feel into this idea of rest as a spiritual connection. Your spirit does need rest. Rest is the place where you are calm and then your spirit, your higher self, your intuition can step right on in and move things around and help to sift and sort through all the topics and areas of your life that you are working on. Those goals that are set by your brain, your mind, yeah, those goals, they are supported by, guess what? Rest. Rest. Because you need to feel rejuvenated, recharged. And when you rest, you get that. Rest creates a unique momentum. It creates a sustainable rhythm. It's not these periods of intense pushing and productivity to meet deadlines and then afterwards you take a two week vacation to just try to recharge. And during that vacation, work is calling you constantly and consistently and you're still working mentally. Rest is an incredible, powerful tool for your goals. Rest is a partner to happiness. It is the ultimate success measure you can bring in the spiritual awareness of rest. Now, rest doesn't necessarily mean sleep. Although very physical, your body just embraces the energy of rest. When you are well rested, you are very, very much in your body. Your body can really embrace and accept the day as it's moving through the day and it rises to meet the challenges of the day. If they're physical challenges, etc., or even mental challenges, your mind is a little more sharp if you get more rest or through sleep. But that is only one way. So when you think of rest, you do think of sleep, don't you? Isn't that what your brain goes right to? Sleep. But remember, remember everyone, everyone who's listening right here, right now, remember, we're talking about rest in the context of spirit, your energy and your intuition. What does your soul need? What does your soul mean when it says rest? When we talk about rest, when we feel this concept of rest. It means an opportunity to release from the thinking mind the intensity of the forcefulness of the forward. The intensity of the forcefulness of forward. Forward, forward, forward. The spirit, the spirit in this place of rest is allowing some space, some expanded room, some opportunity to slow the pace, whether it's through breathing, a simple breath, 
brings your mind into focus, brings your body into your life experience and allows you this moment. Rest may be interpreted by the spirit as pausing. It may be a breath. It may be an awareness of the present moment. Maybe the wind on your face, the sun on your cheek. It might be the feelings of the sensory world around you through hearing. Maybe you hear a bird. Maybe you hear a train off in the distance. The energy of rest is an interruption. In a positive way, it's a break. It's a pause, pause positively interrupting the relentless pushing forward of life and it allows you this moment the pause in the moment the possibility of the moment right here and this connection here not to the future of what you're working for or moving for or to other people's expectations or needs of you you're disconnected from their needs for a moment, from your work for a moment, from your parents' expectations for a moment, and you are here, present, in this pause. It doesn't have to be a long, extended two-hour lunch in walking in nature. It can be a two-minute closing of the eyes, Resting from the stimulation of the visual world, allowing the gaze to go inward, to feel the energy as you breathe into your body and you exhale out, physically feeling your body's movement in the present moment. This is rest. This is rest. This right here is rest. And yes, the pace does slow but it's not for the instant gratification of the instant productivity and meeting someone else's need it is for you to be fully fulfilled trusting the universe trusting the natural process trusting your innate rhythm knowing that rest and a pause is part of the whole you can't bake a cake without the flour or you can't bake a cake without that special ingredient. There are essential things that you need and rest is part of that. Not just the sleep, but the spirit understanding of rest that shows in the pause, that shows in the present, that shows in the noticing of the sensory around you, whether it be auditory or whether it be physical, like the feeling of the air The energy in the body as you breathe, the breath is rest. It's a moment. This moment. Realign with the natural rhythm so that when you join the productivity again, when you join the pace that quickens and the momentum moving forward in your brain, led by the mind and all the goals and intentions of the day, and also expectations of others, let's be real, because that is part of the equation, that is part of our lives, it really is. But bring in this full-bodied, understanding of rest and the value of that time off away it doesn't have to be a vacation week it could be a day it could be two minutes 
to rest from the faster pace, the quicker pace, the pressured pace, and to slow into a moment. It is not an either or. You need both. The pace of day-to-day -day life, the momentum that gives you surges of adrenaline. Come on, come on, you know the stressors. You know you kind of feel a bit of a buzz from those stressors. Let's be honest, you do. But when the stressors become too much without the rest, what happens is anxiety. What happens is depression. What happens is a mass withdrawal instantaneously from life. And you don't want that, and you don't need that. What you desire is the balance, the both, the productivity and the rest. The lack of motivation isn't a problem, it's information. Lack of motivation is not a problem, it's information. Lack of motivation, or if you feel lazy, that's information for you. You may simply be beyond the point of rest and you might be in exhaustion. So let us breathe in the hope and the possibility of a moment to catch your breath. Your breath isn't running, my dear. You are. You are running on a treadmill, not going anywhere in your human mind. You are aging your body. You are losing time. You can be active and engaged and productive in your work, in life, in your relationships with your family and have dreams and goals and be busy in a fulfilled, heartwarming, present way when you have an understanding of this spiritual component of rest. It doesn't mean stop. It means moment, it means presence, it means a, a, a moment to connect with what you want, what you feel. You are not running away, you are paused, you are seated, you are still. And I know it pains me to say the word still, because it's hard to be still. But when you are still, I promise you, you're not gonna be miserable. You are not gonna feel disappointed. You are gonna feel rested. You're gonna feel rest. Well rested, ready for dreams, for happiness, for fun, for life for the balance of the work and the play, and the playful work. The play isn't supposed to be work and hard. You're supposed to bring the play into the work. Ah, but that can only happen with rest, which supports productivity, which supports goal achievement, which supports ultimate success, which is here right here, sit with me right now, just sit in the stillness, just breathe. Full belly release, just exhale out. Exhale out whatever you're holding in down there in your below bow belly and your diaphragm, just oh, exhale it out. Just uh, sigh it out like, uh. exhale it out. Let the stressors out and allow the rest to waft in, like kind of like fog, you know, fog in the morning, kind of by the lake, and it kind of just rolls in and kind of curls across the road, all mystic like, like that. Let it just bring that rest in. Just let it kind of come out and be all around. Let it be part of you. Let it, let it support you. Let your, your spirit knows, your spirit understands. The mind 
it knows the instructional rigid it it knows things that are that have been around a long time and that have been expressed and spouted over and over and over again through repetition have just become kind of part of the background noise for you or have been burned into your skin by experience of life in human form or observation with seared in images with your eyes. There are very real things that affect the mind. And so we understand this need for productivity, for proving, for evidence of your humanness and your specialness and your goodness by showing up for people, by meeting expectations, by doing a good job at work, by showing up for that PTA meeting, by being the go-to for your family, by being the one that always cooks the meals or always does X, Y, or Z. The mind has created a safe environment for you that is based on movement through momentum. And what I am suggesting here with rest, and the understanding of this concept is that there's a spiritual component. You are a human being and a spiritual being, and the spiritual component to this productivity piece is rest. And it is essential to understand what that means. It doesn't mean just stopping everything or complete disconnect. It doesn't mean loneliness. It doesn't mean disinterest. It means the prevention of those things, the prevention of, dis of, of disinterest, the prevention of loneliness, the prevention of numbing yourself out before you get to those points. When you can inject the opportunity of the moments for rest, for pause, for breathing, for being present, that will give you exactly what you need to be inspired to the momentum of daily life, of achieving, of success, of happiness. And that is what you want. You want to feel happy. And it is possible. And you don't have to choose a fast paced life or a slow paced life or living in the city or living in the country or having your own business, being your own boss or working in a corporate setting. It's not about choosing a lifestyle. It's about embodying your fullness, utilizing all of these unique parts, tools, these unique energetic aspects that are right here, right now. They're beyond just the mind and the thoughts and what is preset from the past experiences that are overlaying the present. But for the spirit of you, the energy of you to step into and become part of the life, the daily life, you bring the energy of the importance of rest not just in sleep for the body, although very important and, and very, very essential, but beyond that, in the pause, in the breath, in the present, in your presence here, just right here. Feel the elements, feel the sun, feel the rain, feel the chill of the wind. Rest in knowing that you are supported in these ways. One hundred percent, you are. Yes, you are. Ah, oh, this is Bridget. Thank you for hanging with me here on this. Kind of interesting, huh? Interesting Sunday morning coffee with Bridget talking about rest in a kind of a unique way. I hope I've engaged your mind, activated the energy vibes of your heart space, inspired your spirit and filled you with hope. And yes, go your body, go your body. Yes, embodiment. Kind of appreciate that nod today here in this conversation. Thanks so much for being here.